Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. It's early in the morning. My voice is not warmed up. Today is a part two installation of the Diva Curl Wash Day Wonder. If you want to see the full first review and demo I did of this product, I will leave the video link up above and down below. I promised on that video that I will come back on here on the day where my hair is a little more tangled than the day that I originally filmed on. And it's one of those days today, I feel like, Renz. It's fluffier, it's more tangled at the crown, and I wanted to film my demo again just to see when my hair is more tangled, more knotty, how the Wash Day Wonder works in those circumstances. I'm gonna keep it short and sweet as, again, I went full-fledged on my first video. I'll do a voiceover for the demo portion and I'll be back once the wash and go is completed. If you wanna see round two of Wash Day Wonder Miracles, then keep on watching. Let's get started. Partitioning my hair, ooh, a little tangled. Taking some Wash Day Wonder and running that through. Using my fingers to rake the product through making it fairly easy and now we come closer to where is the trouble area ah and we use a little more product here i'm glad i'm facing this direction so you can have a better angle as to see what's what's happening back there it significantly decreases the tangles and knots making it a ton easier and also provides a lot of moisture as well for my hair sometimes i have to we wet it we wet we wet that's a hard word to say This is where it gets very tangled and applying the Wash Day Wonder helps to tackle the knots and make for a smoother application and just an easier process in applying my co-wash. Done! Going in with the Brio GOB Gentle Be Kind co-wash. Oh, that's a lot better. Taking this much. Focusing primarily on the roots and scalp area, making sure I get the product there. And you'll see how easy it is to partition my hair now with the Wash Day Wonder and easier to get the product close to my scalp without having any knots or tangles in the way of doing so. All right, we're done with our wash and go. I applied Camille Rose Naturals, Fresh Curl, Curl Up, and Curl Maker. I have been loving that trio. As you can see, my hair is incredibly shiny, well-defined, and it has really nice movement, which I've been appreciating from that combination of products I applied. And demo two of using Diva Curls Wash Day Wander on a day that my hair was significantly more tangled than my first demo film. I have to say, I it helps tremendously, especially you saw during when detangling the crown of my head. It gets very tangled, very knotty, and it's very helpful when you have a product to help smooth out those knots for when you apply your shampoo, whether it's a conditioning shampoo or a sudsing one, to kind of help it work in towards the root better. Lots of times, especially when you're using a sudsy shampoo, that it doesn't allow the hair to get clean or because the knots are in the way and it's really hard to get into your scalp. And even though today I used a, I used Brio Geo's cold wash, even that on its own isn't the most detangling. You kind of have to use a lot of product, I, I feel, on my hair to smooth out the hair to get those knots out. Applying this first helped it tremendously, especially, as I said, for the crown of my head. It kind of helped detangle those portions, and I was able to apply the Brio Geo co-wash very well, get into the root, 
scrub massage. And I think the the my most favorite feature of the wash day wonder or I would say benefit is the fact because your hair is so detangled after the shampoo step, it rinses cleaner. There's nothing in the way of the water to just run through your hair and it ensures that all the shampoo is out which is crucial for our hair type especially when you're using a suzzy shampoo when the hair is tangled from all the massaging and the scrubbing that you're doing and the hair tries to run through tangled knots it doesn't i feel rinse the water doesn't rinse the shampoo out completely and whatever's left is very drying to the hair and even if you don't feel it i think it's not it's not the best for your overall hair health to have shampoo left in it and that's why i think this is uh, incredibly helpful for that step to make sure that whether it's a co-wash or a sussing shampoo that it is rinsed out of your hair completely and it is significantly easier to do so when your hair is tangle free. Thank you friends for tuning in to demo two of Wash Day Wonder. I will continue using this. I have to say because I apply my Camille Rose natural products, I probably won't need this at the next uh, co-wash or wash day because these products leave my hair really moisturized and tangle free. The last wash and go I did, I used Camille Rose with Jane Carter Solution and I have to say, I use all Camille Rose Naturals. My hair doesn't separate as much as quickly. I found that with my curl defining cream, I could get like a good two days and then on the third day it starts to feel not as soft and silky and that's probably why due to the fact that I slept on a cotton pillowcase and it just goes to show what difference that makes on my hair texture on how it feels I think it kind of stripped my hair and that's why the curl defying cream poor thing couldn't hold on and just totally left my hair on its own and it felt very dry before I went in with the wash day wander but when I use all Camille Rose natural products it leaves my hair fairly silky and hydrated and even three four days before my crown is tangled but not not so much as opposed to when I use other products and again I put a ton in I put like two creams and the gel to top it off it doesn't feel heavy it's not flaking and I think it just is a great setup before I go into my wash step I don't have to use as much or maybe I won't use this at all because I already shampooed twice this month with uh with a suzzing formula I think the next time I'll just do a co-wash uh, not use the wash day wonder because I want it to last as long as possible it is $28 for 12 fluid ounces and I it doesn't seem that I made a dent yet I'm looking at uh the cream and I think it's hard to see I'm like about here maybe so I have this much left to go through. Being very conservative with how much I use and just being smart about if I really need it, if I could work without it, especially if I'm using a creamy co-wash to kind of help with those knots. If I use a little bit, maybe I'll just use the crown to the crown of my head because the bottom portion is like really easy to get through. But it's when I get to the middle portion that extra help is always appreciated. So perhaps I will use this only when necessary for those portions of my hair that are very tangled and knotty and that could really benefit from the assist. That's all I got for you today, friends. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And until then, I'll see you on here again with another demo review. Chit chat or get ready with me. Take care and I'll see you again soon.